Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. In today's video, I'm going to be making shrimp powder. Now, I will be using my Harvest Right freeze dryer. If you don't have a freeze dryer, you can use a dehydrator if you have one of those. The results won't be as good because the dehydrator really is cooking at a very, very low temperature, where a freeze dryer is not cooking at all. Instead, it's just removing all the moisture and completely drying it out. The product would be the same size coming out as it was going in, where a dehydrator will not be. It would be more shriveled up, shrunk up, and it doesn't process as well. The powder won't be as fine as what I can get with a freeze dryer. So let me back you up to yesterday. I took two gallons of water, added it to a pot, got it to a boil. Once boiling, I added one pound of knee-deep crawfish, seafood, crab boil mix. Added that in, stirred it up well, let it boil for 10 minutes to really dissolve these powders. Then at that point, I added in two pounds of gulf shrimp. Now these shrimp were already peeled and deveined. And that's the way I wanted it because I wanted that season really in contact with the shrimp itself to really enhance it as a powder. Normally I would leave the shell and the head on to where it would really flavor the shrimp itself if I was just boiling shrimp to eat. So there is a difference there. So the fire is off, the shrimp soaked for about 30 minutes. They were fully cooked and at that point, I drained them and I layered them on a tray. I popped them in the freezer to let them freeze overnight. And that's what we're getting ready to do now. The freeze dryer is up and running. I'm getting ready to transfer those into the harvest right trays. And we're gonna start this freeze drying process. Follow me inside and we'll get this started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and load these up. Now, these are frozen already. And now, my wife has decided she wants to do dill pickle slices. She just did that, so I'm gonna put a tray of dill pickle slices and also a tomato to make tomato powder. She wants to dill pickle slices just to eat, and I'm, I'm pretty curious about that myself. They are not frozen. So if I would have knew that in advance, I would not have pre-froze these because now the machine's got to freeze all that that I'm getting ready to put in before it will actually go into the freeze-dry mode. But that is shrimp, so having it frozen in advance is probably a good thing because of what it is. Seafood can spoil rapidly. So we're gonna get that loaded up. I've already got this thing up and running. It's gonna take roughly 24, 30 hours is my guess. 26 hours later, we are done. Now this was probably done hours ago, but the cool thing about this Harvest Right freeze dryer is you can add time to it. You can add days to it. Like if you know you can't get to it to take care of it, just let it keep running. The only thing it's gonna cost you is a little bit and electricity. Runs around $2 a day to run this machine per load. And I'm talking about a 24 hour cycle. So I've got them here on the counter. And these things are just ultra light. There's no moisture in them whatsoever. But once you remove something from a freeze dryer, you need to take care of it pretty quick. I'm going to get my food processor out here and go ahead and turn these into powder. The pickles will stay like they are and the tomato slices will be turned into powder as well. You can see them here. Now I want to go back before long and do four trays of tomato slices just for tomato powder. Instead of using my food processor, I decided to use a coffee grinder. I got this mainly to do spices or any kind of powder with because it really creates a fine powder, more so than what a processor can do. So we're just going to transfer this shrimp in. I'll have to do this in multiple batches. And here we go. Look at that, perfect little fine powder. And obviously I'm gonna need a couple of these jars, which I have. Now you can take a little brush and brush all that excess into this or any that gets on the counter. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this done. 
So I ended up with three quarters of a pint. This one's full, this one's about half full. I'm gonna go ahead and drop an oxygen absorber into this one. I'm going to pull a vacuum with my chamber vac and put this one away. I will write on here what it is. I'll do that to this once I get through using a little bit. And we're gonna talk about that right now. Now the things that I'll be using this for is like a seafood stock or a gumbo. You can put it directly in your gumbo, stir it in. It's just gonna add more seafood flavor to a seafood gumbo. You can put it in any kind of sauce, even like a pasta sauce. If you're doing like a seafood pasta, you can enhance that sauce itself with that increased shrimp flavor. I did a video about a year and a half ago and with shrimp toast. Now what I did in that video is I took the actual shrimp and I turned them into like a shrimp paste in my processor. Well, you can just add water to this and get it to the right consistency and do that exact same recipe with this. I doubt I do that because I've got other ideas, but what I'm gonna do for you today is hush puppies. We love hush puppies. I'm making some that's gonna already have that seafood flavor built inside. They're gonna be good. So like I said, it's unlimited what all you can do with this shrimp powder. That's just a few ideas. If you think about it, you can come up with all kind of ideas and hey, if you got an idea, leave it in the comments. All right, my wife is gonna give me a hand with these hush puppies. We're gonna start with three quarter cup buttermilk. Into that, we're gonna add three eggs. One diced up jalapeno, it was a large jalapeno. One teaspoon of onion powder. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One half teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna add in around a half a cup of all-purpose flour, and you can add more later if it needs to be thickened. Now we got an 8.5 ounce box of Jiffy mix. It's the uh, Jiffy corn muffin mix. That makes the best hush puppies. Gonna give that a good mix. Then we're gonna add in the shrimp powder last two tablespoons. I see shrimpy bits. Two tablespoons. Now give all that a really good mix. And if it's too thin, you can add more flour. If it's too thick, you can always add more buttermilk. That's looking pretty good, actually. By the way, I forgot to show on camera adding salt, but we did add a teaspoon and a half of salt to that mix. All right, we are at 351 degrees. Oh yeah. Drop these in here. Perfect. Now these cook pretty fast, so you can see how that one turned over on its own. It'll actually have to be flipped back over. You want them a little bit darker than that, but not much. And that's basically all we're doing. Man, they're flipping herself. You can't beat that. Look at that. Now you can also take a slotted spoon and get any of these little remnants out of here. You just want to spin them around until you get them golden brown cooked all the way through. I don't know about where you live, but here in the south on the coast, we eat hush puppies with all kinds of seafood, mainly fried seafood. It just accompanies it so well. I mean, it's, it's really good. I can definitely taste that shrimp flavor coming through. In actuality, I could have probably put another tablespoon, possibly two, if you really want to amp it up. These are perfect, absolutely perfect. 
Just a little update. Here a while back, I did a video on freeze drying candy, showing you how you can take Skittles and Starburst, all kinds of candy, and just freeze dry it, and it completely changes the texture. They poof up, you know? They're, it's amazing, really, what it turns the candy into. Well, in that video, I said that I had no interest in starting a freeze dry business, and I haven't, but guess who did? My wife. She is freeze drying candy every day of the week, selling out constantly. She loves it, absolutely loves it. So if you're looking for a, something you can do at home, a good little business venture, then consider getting a Harvest Right freeze dryer. I'll have a link in the description. I am an affiliate. So if you happen to purchase one, I'll get a little bit off of that. And I'm telling you, you can make some money freeze drying candy. It's, it's really big right now. Just thought I'd throw that in there. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I got some hush puppies to eat.